Good morning, folks. A couple hours ago, our electricity went out, and I got a reminder that we need backup power for when the grid goes down hours or days or maybe weeks. If there is any solar CME or any form of EMP that damages major um sorry for the interruption that damage major transformers at substations those things aren't readily available to be replaced it takes up to 18 months for an order to be filled once an order is able to be put in um i had purchased in the past this 1500 watt with a 3000 peak power inverter from a harbor freight store to carry in my vehicle so i could power electric tools or a nebulizer for asthma treatment or the charger for cordless tools stuff like that I had never used it. I have a smaller one from there that has worked the reciprocating saw on 75 feet of 12 gauge cord. So today I took out the solar panel kit also from Harbor Freight and a uh, battery I had for a tractor that uh, needs fixed put the kit together clamped it to the battery with its little control box there then finally went to making up the cables here's a little power inverter with two 12 gauge cords plugged into it it is currently has a 50 foot 12 gauge cord going to a regular refrigerator and a 25 foot 12 gauge cord going to a upright freezer. We just popped the screen off and ran it through the window to get us going again. It just barely can handle when those two compressors engage because the length of those 12 gauge cords. But it's doing it. I previously had the two cords plugged differently. One was going to a small deep freeze and it was doing it in the upright deep freeze okay. Here's a little controller. Before drawing power off of the uh, battery with the inverter here, it had uh, 12.9 volts so you can see now with the inverter having to draw enough amperage to power those things we've only got 11.9 volts left on the battery I'm hoping to get a couple deep cell marine batteries for this application and uh, just trade in some old junk tractor batteries and car batteries to the for the core also the requirement for the uh, inverter here is supposed to be 2 watt cable no longer than 6 feet. Well this is the only one near 2 watt. That's obviously not. And so I kept it down to about 2.5 to 3 feet of cable. And I obviously also need to replace the end here. I had limited supplies, had no idea if part stores had electricity so they could sell me something. Okay, at one point I tried to run all three appliances off of a different cord. This one here is just a 14 amp, excuse me, 14 gauge cord. 
We had the free refrigerator already going on the 50 foot 12 gauge. When we plugged the upright freezer into this, it automatically tripped the power inverter. Light came on and it went to squealing its little beeper at us. It's buzzer. So obviously that's not a power heavy enough duty cord. So you need at least 12 gauge cord, preferably the shorter ones. What I intend to do in the future if I must use this is to go ahead and build myself a plastic box or just use an old plastic tote. Set the battery inside the house along with the power inverter so they can be right close to one of the appliances and so I only have to run an extension cord to another appliance and therefore be able to run this single solar panel input cord through a window seal or I may go ahead and set up a conduit through the wall to be run able to run it through and just have it plugged off when it's not needed. This can also be used to maybe uh, power a barn or shed that's out away from electricity or have it in its box and take it with you if you uh, plan to go camping for a week or something need to be able to recharge a, a phone or something like that I don't recall how much it all costs there's lots of options available uh, different companies sell little solar backup generators you can charge them uh, from your electric outlet when you have electricity and then when the power goes out you set it out in the sunlight and you can at least run a laptop or a fan off of it or something uh, wh whichever is most necessary I don't think those will run a few appliances to keep your food from defrosting and, and spoiling uh, thank you for your time and watching the video you're welcome to hit the like button and share it or subscribe if you like that's all up to you I'm just trying to help folks you all uh, take care and try to stay cool thankfully our power did come back on before I finish this so there's an air conditioner window unit running behind me. But I'm going to see how long this will power my refrigerator and uh, upright freezer there. Just to have an idea what's, what's going to work for us. I think I can add to this system. I intend to get a larger inverter that is available. Thank you. Take care.